What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Kicks is checking in once again. Appreciate you for stopping in and checking out the channel. As always, if you're new here, welcome. I cover a wide range of sneaker related topics. It's a mixture of everything. If you're returning, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate the support as always. So today for y'all, if y'all haven't looked at the title yet, I do have another early review for y'all. And let me tell you, this shoe, I, I know it's gotten a mixture of reviews right now, but this shoe is fire like this shoe is really nice so i'm happy I, i'm getting to bring this review uh to y'all hopefully y'all enjoy it but as always subscribe to the channel like the video turn on the notification bell but let's go ahead and jump into this early review but like i said i do have an early review for y'all today it this is the if you haven't seen the title yet the jordan one prototype and like i said this shoe is really nice i do really like this shoe um, unfortunately, it's not in my size, so I will be trying to get my size come release day. But I do think that this shoe will do very well. There is some really cool, or there is one really cool feature uh, with this shoe, so stay tuned. I will talk about it a little later in the video. But let's go ahead and jump into this review. So to start uh, with the box. Now, y'all know I love when they switch up these boxes. Of course, this is, this is totally different from a normal Jordan 1 box. Of course, you know the normal Jordan 1 box is the black and red box. This is just totally out of the blue. But I love when they switch up these boxes just because it gives us something different to have. It's, it's something totally different. So I'll give you all the full 360 view of the box. But I know lately, like with the pollen ones, we saw the yellow and black box to match the shoe color. And I really think Jordan should start doing that where the shoe color matches the box or the box matches the shoe color. I think that would be just a really cool addition just to have with the boxes and it would switch things up. Uh, but getting back to this, so the label reads Air Jordan 1 Retro OG and the color is white, total orange, and multicolor. This is a size 10 and a half and the retail price is 170. So I'll show you how the label. That is the label there. Now, I believe these were originally supposed to come out on 9-11. Uh, now they're coming out September 24th. They were pushed back. Um, like, I said, like I've said in other videos, expect delays with some of this stuff just because of late shipments and everything that's going on with Nike. Expect a lot more stuff to get delayed. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the box. So there's the lid right there. So you do have a uh, kind of... I guess brownish, oranges, light, light brownish, oranges colored paper with these, not that white paper. So that's that. So let me get the shoes out for y'all, and then we can go ahead and jump into the review because I'm sure y'all are ready to see these shoes, and I'm ready to talk about them. All right, so box out the way. All right, so I'm dropping stuff over here. All right, this is the prototype Air Jordan One or the Jordan One prototype. Give y'all the quick 360. Like I said, these are really nice. I do like these. I'll, I'll, I'll for sure try and get these in my collection if I can. Unfortunately, this one's not my size, but I will be trying to get these in my collection. So to start, you do have an all black outsole. All black outsole with these. And then continuing up, you do have the all white midsole. And that goes all the way around the shoe. I'm gonna move these laces into the shoe real quick, hold on. The laces are all over the place. All right, yeah, so all white midsole, and that goes all the way around the shoe. Now moving up, so the upper portion of the shoe, it has a mixture of premium leather and then uh, nubuck. So we'll start with the toe box. So you do have the nubuck material all around here, and it's really soft. It's a really soft nubuck. And then the toe box, you do have an all-white toe box with a orange Nike swoosh. It's not a, it's, it's really no tumble leather on these. It's just regular leather. Okay, so moving on to the Nike swoosh. You do have an all-black Nike swoosh with white stitching going in it, going through it, or going around it, I guess. And that's on both sides, and you do have a white to leather panel behind it. That white leather, like I said, no tumble leather on these. And then continuing to the back of the shoe, you do have an all black premium leather here on the back of the heel. And that kind of wraps not all the way around the shoe. Of course, everything is in panels on this shoe just because it's a mixture of different things. So moving to, let's go to the tongue. You do have the normal Jordan 1 tongue. This is a all black tongue. 
and you do have the orange Nike Air logo here. And then moving to the back of the shoe, you do have an all black Jordan Wing logo. And then of course you see that blue up, up at the top, you have like a royal blue, and then you have baby, I guess you could call it a baby blue, or more on the lines of like a UNC blue. But this blue right here, this light blue, is it's Nubuck as well, but it feels like a really soft suede. So it's actually, this is a really nice material going back here on this back portion of the heel. And then this darker blue is that premium leather that we get with this shoe as well. Now moving to the inside of the shoe, you do have an all black a sock liner. And then on the tongue of the shoe, it is an indigo colored a tongue with an orange Nike logo. So I'll show you all of that. So hopefully you can see everything there. You do see that black sock liner and then the indigo blue insole with an orange Nike logo. Now moving to the laces, you do this does come with four sets of laces. So of course you have the normal black laces that come in these, which you see right here. And then they also come with a white pair of laces. You have an orange pair of laces. And you have that indigo dark blue color lace. Now, me personally, I think black laces would look good with these. Um, I think the white would also look good with these. But I, I'm curious to see how these orange laces look with them. I think the orange laces would look really good with these. I, I just think they would pop. These almost remind me of like the biohacks. And I know with my pair of biohacks, I have the pink laces in them. Just because it's already so much going on in that shoe. I just wanted to make even more going on with the laces. So I think the orange laces would look cool with these. I, I may personally, if I were to get my size, end up putting the orange laces in them. But maybe that's just me. Let me know which lace y'all think would look best with this shoe. Let me know. Let me know. All right, continuing on. Oh, in my normal, letting y'all know with the shoe tree. So like I said, this is a size 10 and a half. Make sure your shoe tree matches that. So this is a 10 to 10 and a half shoe tree. Like I said, if your shoe tree doesn't match, it's a good indication that the shoe is fake. All right, now continuing on. So one aspect I do want to point out with the shoe is the stitching on here. So you do have that orange stitching going around there. And if you notice those gray portions on the back of the shoe, I believe that is 3M. And I think I have pictures of it. If I do, I will post them up right now. But I believe it's 3M. So, of course, when you have the flash on it, it'll pop out. But that orange stitching on there really makes that gray panel pop. Now the other thing you may notice going on at the back of the shoe is the perfor perforation marks. And that was just lying all around here and they go to the other side of the shoe as well. So hopefully you can see those marks. But that is the cool aspect that I wanted to tell you all about this shoe. So yes, it is a high top. This is a Jordan 1 high top. but it does give you the option to make this a low top. Now, if you do go to a low top in this shoe, it is you can't go back to a high top. So you have to decide either it's going to be a high top or it's going to be a low top. So it kind of puts some, I don't want to say risk, but it, it gives you some risk with these. So I guess you would either have to take like an X-Acto knife or maybe some scissors. I, I don't know. The material is almost like a foam, so I bet you could cut through it with some scissors. Or just get like an X-Acto knife and you could cut it through like that. And put these laces back in the shoe. But yeah, so it gives you that option to turn it into a low top. And I do have pictures of what it looks like as a low top. So I will post those in the video as well. But I, I, I'd be curious to see which people would prefer. If they would prefer the low top version of these or the high top version of these. I think the low top actually look pretty cool. But I, I love high tops as well. I don't really have too many Jordan 1 low tops. Actually, I don't think I have any Jordan 1 low tops. So I think the high tops would actually look better but those low tops when I saw the pictures of the low tops I was actually pleasantly surprised at how good they looked so I'm sure people will experiment I'm sure we'll see plenty of people cut cut the make it a low top but that's what they gave us this option for so I could also see people doubling up and being like I'm gonna have a low top version of the shoe and a high top version of the shoe wouldn't surprise me but yeah, so it, I'd be curious to see what people what people do. I don't think Jordan has ever really done anything like that before. I, I'm relatively, compared to other people newer to the sneaker game, so let me know the, the people who have been in the sneaker game for years if that has been done before. But I will show you all the other shoe real quick. There are no differences. 
but this one also does have the perforation marks going along here to make it a low top but yeah this is the other shoe no differences in these but alright back to this shoe so let me know what you think about these shoes if I had to rank them I'd probably give them an I'd probably go eight out of eight and a half out of ten. Like I said, I do like the quality on these. I do like the the concept of being able to choose if you want this to be a high top or a low top. And then I just like the colors. The colors are so different. I like crazy colored shoes. And of course, this is just another crazy colored shoe here. Especially if you put like the orange laces in there or even the blue laces. And I'd be curious to see how people customize this shoe to however they want to wear it. And on top of that, the box is just another thing that I really like with this shoe. But let me know in the comments what you think about the Jordan 1 prototype. Like I said, the release date for these is now September 24th. They are loaded on sneakers for September 24th. Retail, I believe I said, is 170 So let me know in the comments what you think about these. Is this a shoe that you're going to go ahead and try to cop? Are you going to pass on it? Let me know. Let me know. Y'all know I respond to every comment. But as always, I do appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the video. Like I said earlier, subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on the notification bell, on the road to 500 subscribers, so your support is greatly appreciated when y'all subscribe to the video. But I will give y'all one last look at these. As always, stay safe and stay blessed wherever, wherever you are in the world, especially those being affected by the hurricane right now. I know that's crazy. But like I said, stay safe and stay blessed, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.